Well, a new kind of strategic weapon, Russia's deputy prime minister warning that the country's new hypersonic nuclear-capable missile renders all defenses useless. It's impossible to intercept and locate. It sounds like a movie trailer. Here now is David Sears, a retired Navy SEAL. I mean, you, you rattle all that off, David. Um, and it sounds like a thing from the future that you see on the screen. I guess the question is, do we believe that Russia indeed has this, the ability to, to, to deploy this? I don't think they have the ability to deploy it right now. So it's always questionable what, what Russia does have in terms of technology. They're, they're very good at deception. They, that's just been part of their modus operandi for years, going way back. And they're prone to exaggeration. It's also... The timing of this is a little bit uh, suspect as, you know, we come to negotiating or pulling out of different nuclear nonproliferation treaties and things like that. So right. it's always questionable. The difference here as we look at this graphic on the screen is, is a, a missile that would be fired goes from point A to point B, uh, you know, precision uh, to take it from one spot to the other. But as you saw in that graphic there, this hypersonic missile can kind of go up and down, side to side, all, all over the place and get to where it eventually wants to go in theory. Right. That's the that's the, really the big difference. So ballistic missiles, think of it like a fly ball in baseball. It goes up and it comes down with gravity. So you can calculate, given enough information, the trajectories and then, in theory, intercept that and have your own calculations that allow you to fire another object to intercept it, whatever So this it is. would be like a fastball mixed with the curveball, mixed with the slider, mixed with the changeup, right? <laughs> Under that analogy? Yeah, it, it'd be like a a drone baseball it could stop in mid-flight it wouldn't stop right. mid-flight but just completely change direction on you it w even a curveball has a trajectory to it right. so this would be unpredictable if it can maneuver which is that's what the, we're trying to do with all these hypersonic weapons is get them to maneuver but at a very high speed then the trajectory becomes unpredictable and the problems to shoot that down it get a lot more difficult if russia indeed has this capability if we if you are to take them at their word did they beat the u.s to the punch here they could. That's one of the, that's one of the issues with these hypersonic weapons is that it increases your, or it decreases your decision time, to a response to a nuclear strike. So the danger of miscalculation by either side starts to become magnified because it takes. So hypersonic is considered Mach five to up to like Mach twenty, really fast. <laughs> Mach five, we're talking about one mile per second. You know, Mach 20, you're talking about four miles per second. So you can cover a lot of ground very quickly with these things and catch somebody by surprise. Not that it is expected that Russia would fire something like this anytime soon. But if they have the capability, does the United States at this point stand to be able to defend itself from something like this? Not right now. I mean, we've seen our anti-ballistic missile programs, and you saw a lot of those being put under scrutiny with, you know, a year and a half ago or so as we were looking at North Korea and the, the verbatim that was coming out of there, right? So we know that those are not 100% successful either. That's the ballistic missile piece, the fly right. ball. Now add these, we just don't have systems right now that are capable of stopping this. Scary thing to think about. David Sears, uh, retired Navy SEAL, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Blake.